I had an experience this past week. I want to talk to you guys about it and get your take. Yeah? Because you know me. I'm a very mild-mannered person. I don't uh, know that I agree with that. Well, you see me in a let's way that not, other people don't get a chance to, not, but by the premise. Let's okay. get this story out. I'll accept that as a given. I, I had to I'm go, to, have to, I had to, go to the DMV, Department of Motor Vehicles License Bureau, whatever they call it out And here. you had trouble there? Yeah. Well, well, how? Here's the thing. Which DMV? In De Pere. Oh, I, and Brody, yeah, really Brody needed to get his license renewed. Okay. And, you know, he's a kid. You know, granted, he's, he's 21, but, you know, he doesn't have his own house with his own address. Okay. Goes in there, he's got his passport, his license, his social security card, his birth certificate. The challenge is, is the two pieces that prove your residency. When you're a kid, you know, none of the utilities come in your name. So we ran around like, like, like you know, in preparation went to his bank and we're like, well, it, it says on the site that if you have bank data, a bank statement with your address on it, that would count. We had them print one up. We went to my insurance agent and added Brody to the policy by name, which cost me money, just so that they could print out a thing with him and his address. So we'd have it. We go to the DMV. The line is tremendous. They don't have any seats at the DePair location. We're all standing there. <laughs> And I can see that whenever they get busy, they just start refusing people for whatever little picky reason they can. Yeah. And we get up there and they don't want to accept his bank statement as a proof of residency. And I said, but I don't understand. That is his bank statement. They said, yeah, but it's not the one that they mail to you. I'm like, I understand that because we have paperless statements. Nobody gets the mail to them anymore. We're all trying to do our part for the environment, but it doesn't have to be actually sent in the mail. It needs to be a document from the bank that establishes the mailing address. So you not got the a mail. climate change so, denier at the DMV. So what we had, well, what I felt was happening was is a very typical black and white stick to the thing. Well, here's the problem. I normally don't get belligerent in those circumstances because there's really not much point to it. I couldn't help myself. I became, I, I became that which shows up on videos sometimes and you either hate the person or you get behind them. They have a big sign there that says we have the right to refuse service for anybody uh, acting belligerent. Uh, I asked for a manager. I got the manager. He was a moron. And I let him know about it. I didn't feel good about it afterward. I Wait, felt you let him know about the incident or that, uh, I he, let him was know that he was a moron? You made sure he was yeah, aware because of that. Here's what happens is. What you, exactly did you say? I, I yeah. said, I, I'm just trying let's, to figure let's, out. Let's play this out. Okay. Sir, I understand I was you'd very, like to speak to a manager. I was My name mean. is Dale. <laughs> And well, I said, Dale, listen, we're here. He's getting a real ID. He has all of his documents. Okay. One of his qualifying documents is a bank statement. This is his bank statement. Okay. We just came from Commerce. It is 50 pages long with detailed financial transactions and his mailing address. Are you suggesting that this document has been fabricated so that my 21-year-old son can get a real ID when he's got his passport here, his birth certificate, his social security card, but a 50-page falsified bank statement? Is that what you're suggesting here? And he's like, huh? sir, yeah, exactly. Big, that's, you may as well play him like, the, oh, I was the biggest moron of the morons, and so I get to be the supervisor of the morons. So I, I literally, I just snapped. because I get very I would, defensive. I'd like to hear when the details I snapped, of the snap. The, the, the comment that got me tossed, because I was, I was, oh, I, you was, were I, was from ejected, I was ejected from the DMV? I was, I was. What comment was, wow. was I'm like, Okay, I'm just standing here trying to figure out who amongst you is the biggest moron. Mm. And you that, actually used the M word. I did. I, yeah, it's, I don't even call it the M word because there's nothing wrong with it. But yes, I like used, the, I, I to used it. They, they, they tossed me. Now, let me say this. There was a part of me that felt a lot of guilt and shame over my lack of self-control. And I felt it, like, should I go back? Should I apologize? But then there was a bigger part of me Probably that said, the police. if you have a business where your solution to all of these really, really upset customers was instead of looking at our own behavior, our own practices and protocols, rather than try to fix that so as to produce fewer belligerent people, hmm. our solution is we're going to go print up a sign that says we have the right to refuse service to belligerent people. How many belligerent people are they getting every day? I'm guessing a lot. Yeah. And I think they deserve every one of them. Well, if you have to sign, put up a sign like that, which I think it's safe to say none of us have ever seen anywhere else, meaning they're doing something to cause that belligerence. They, 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 uh, let me tell you, I just feel like the regular normal people are going to the DMV. Nobody wants to go. 
they're using their lunch hour or they're taking yeah. PTO and all they want to do is, is, is pay their money. They're there to comply with the rules and hand their money over to the state. Yeah. The state should bend over backwards and be gracious to try to collect that money. And then they wonder why we have so many people out there with expired plates. These people don't want to go to the DMV. The DMV is ruining their life. 